Bad news? MG4 crushed competitor Volkswagen ID3. MG's latest model has people scratching their heads, leaving them to think the MG4 is a rival to the already fan-favorite European battery electric cars, such as the Volkswagen ID3. But is this true? Is the all-new MG4 going to take over the Volkswagen ID3? Well, keep watching this video until the end because you surely do not want to miss out on this massive news. MG, the former British brand, which is now owned by SAIC, has developed a new global electric car platform, which they call Nebula. And the first model to use the new rear-wheel drive platform is the MB Mulan in China, which will be known as the MG4 in Europe. The automaker has claimed a 0 to 100 km per hour time for the compact 5-door hatchback of 4 seconds, while offering few details about its newest model. Just recently, many car experts speculated it would have specifications similar to the MG4, which is a front-wheel drive car, which comes with either a 61.1 kilowatt per hour NMC battery with a WLTP range of 400 kilometers, as well as a 130 kilowatt motor or a 50.3 kilowatt per hour LFP battery which is paired with a WLTP range of 320 kilometers along with a 115 kilowatt motor. However, the all-new MG4 is built on a different platform, so confirmation of those details will have to wait until the automaker releases technical details when the MG4 officially makes its debut this year. No pricing details have been released as of yet. Moreover, the all-new MG4 is the new electric car from Morris Garage, a direct rival to the Volkswagen ID3, the Cupra Born, or the Renault Megane E-Tech Electric. And one of its amazing points is that it is much cheaper than its competitors as well. But we still have to know other things just as important and more. And we already know them. The media are beginning to test it and claim that it is a better car in different sections and a cheaper option. The MG4 will arrive in Europe this year. It will do so in two different configurations. One with a 135 kilowatt, which is about 170 horsepower, and a 51 kilowatt per hour electric motor that reaches up to 350 kilometers of autonomy, as well as the other with a 150 kilowatt motor that is around 204 CV, 64 kilowatts per hour, and 450 kilometers of autonomy. In addition, we already know that the brand is preparing to launch. However, somewhat later, other configurations will even offer us all-wheel drive thanks to using two electric motors instead of one. With its 4.29 meters long, it fits as an alternative to the Volkswagen ID3 or the Renault Megane E-Tech Electric and can be charged at 130 kilowatts per hour of maximum power for 5% to 10% battery in just 35 minutes. Actually, it is worth noting that the first MG model based on parent company SAIC Motors new Modular Scalable Platform, or the MSP, a flexible pure electric vehicle architecture, and the new MG4 Electric is a rear-wheel drive compact hatchback which promises its fans a 50 to 50 weight distribution for optimum driving pleasure. Moreover, this amazing vehicle is similarly sized to the Volkswagen ID3, measuring 4,287 millimeters in length, 1,835 millimeters in width, and just 1,504 millimeters in height. According to the automaker, the five-door hatchback offers a comfortable mix with the spacious cabin, which has more than enough room for a family of five members. The car's low height is made possible by its mainly flat battery. With a height of just 110 millimeters, it's the flattest battery developed by SAIC Motor and allegedly the thinnest in its class. It also features horizontally arranged cells, and the so-called one-pack battery has been promised to have an edge to stand out in terms of weight, interior space, and safety. When the automaker MG was reintroduced to the United Kingdom under Chinese ownership, the brand ticked along with humble sales without troubling any of the market leaders. And all that changed with the release of its electric family, but the MG ZS EV offers its consumers an affordable family SUV, and the new MG4 Estate takes an even more rational approach.
but it might be too sensible for some though. The outer design is quite plain, while the jacked up ride height necessary to fit in this model's 61.1 kilowatt per hour battery without compromising a lot of interior space, which as a result makes it look a little awkward. Besides the MG3, the ID3's more sophisticated body control makes it feel more stable and much more relaxing on the move, but the BW's 18-inch wheels, two inches larger than the MG's, offer modest differences in ride comfort. And at lower speeds, the VW tends to thump into potholes and larger imperfections slightly more, even though it is still not harshly, and the tires generate a slightly bassier rumble on the road. However, at higher speeds, the Volkswagen ID has some sort of edge in terms of comfort. It also backs this up with a superior balance through the corners, and that stability is paired with very little steering feedback, which means that it would be a stretch to call it fun. However, at the same time, it's very competent as well as it inspires more confidence than the MG. Also, the battery will be offered in 51 kilowatt per hour as well as 64 kilowatt per hour configurations, which enable the driving range of 350 kilometers and 450 kilometers in the WLTP cycle, respectively. The more minor battery powers a 125 kilowatt electric motor, while the larger pack supplies energy to a 150 kilowatt motor, both driving the rear wheels. Moreover, the more powerful variant accelerates from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in less than eight seconds. And while the top speed is set to 160 kilometers per hour, MG also says it plans further variants of the MG4 electric, including all wheel drive. The MG4 electric is said to be currently undergoing a final 120,000 kilometer endurance test under various conditions in Europe and is expected to be launched on the continent in the fourth quarter of 2022. But which car is considered the better car? Well, the car experts who have had the opportunity to do the first tests of the MG4 are those from the media of the British motor world. And as they explain to us in Auto Express, the MG4 is cheaper than the Volkswagen ID3, sure, but in all its versions, it has remarkable standard equipment. There is no lack of touchscreen for the 10.25 inch diagonal multimedia system compatible with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay or driving assistance systems such as lane keeping, adaptive cruise control, and traffic management. In addition to highlighting its complete standard equipment, they highlight the efficiency of the MG4's electrical system, having recorded a consumption of 14.8 kilowatts per hour, 100 kilometers during its test, which is more correct than good data. In this segment, the Volkswagen ID3 does not record bad data, but somewhat worse data was indeed expected from the MG model. And where it is also surprising and about driving, according to Autocar, its excellent acoustic insulation makes it silent and in its smooth driving. The bottom line is that if we focus on value for money along with the load capacity above all else, then no doubt MG takes the win. The monthly finance rates undercut its competitor by more than enough to balance out the ID3's superior efficiency, while the MG is excellent to drive and appreciably faster than its rival. As it stands, you can only get more EVs for the money than this. Settling for second here does not mean there's no appeal to the entry-level ID3. It is more efficient than the MG, enough space for passengers, and slightly better to drive, but it plays second best based on price, boot space, and kit levels. It would only take improved in-car tech and better ergonomics for us to consider the extra purchase price justified for the VW, though. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed today's video and found it interesting, then make sure to leave us a thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to be up to date with the most exciting content as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon in another video.